Bear Paw Pumpkin Soup for Halloween. I'm Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman, and it is Halloween week. There is going to be splatter today, guys. Yeah, we're going to do that. Well, this is the common puffball mushroom. It is found all over North America, and they can get huge. I mean, they can get this size. Now, I'm going to put a little salt on these and saute them. We're now progressing along a little bit. I took the onion and I cut it up and sauteed it. And this is a lightly sauteed mushroom right here. This is a small so-called pie pumpkin. Now you can do much more with pumpkin besides just make pumpkin pies. Okay, lost one half. Okay, got seeds. Yes, sir. Seeds scattering everywhere. Okay. So we're going to put these on in a pot and boil it, and then we'll extract this rind and make a mush out of it, and then that will be actually the central part of the soup base. Now I told you kids to be careful when you went out there with those actions to bust those pumpkins, because you don't want this to happen to you. Whoa. Mmm. These look familiar? Well, no, these are not off some unfortunate child. Uh, these are in fact bare feet. Uh, this is the front paw, and this is the rear paw. And so we're going to chop these and put them in this pot and pressure cook them. Well, as you see, our cutting board wasn't up to the task. So uh, we're going to just put a couple of these in whole, and then we'll separate the meat from them later. We are resuming with our Halloween soup. Now this is a pressure cooker in which I cooked the bare paws, and we added some corn, we added some tomatoes, and here go the onions. Yes, always onions. Okay. They go in there. And we had our puffball mushroom. Yes, they go in there. Oh. And of course, we now have our pumpkin. So this goes in. I'm going to throw in a little bit of ginger at this stage. All right, that's looking, that's starting to look good now. There are those of you who don't believe me. But yes, that starts to look good. All right, now, the paws, they have been cooked and they have been boiled, and here we go. Well, I'm still a little bit on the warm side. You pull off the meat and put that in there, separate the bones. Just do this with the fingers. You get a gelatin out of it, and what you particularly want in here is you want the lean meat particle. Okay. Now some of you right now are going, yeah! <laughs> well, don't worry about it. Uh, you know, all this is meat. The animal is already dead. I just happen to be used eating a part of it that most people don't consume. And this is what you get your gelatin from, by the way. And no, it is not nasty. This is fine. Edible food products. Protein. If you shoot it, you use it. Yes, sir. The ginger is starting to work a little bit. I can just barely taste it. So, okay, we can put the pepper in. We'll do that. We've got our bear paw soup here, and what I've done is I added another large can of tomatoes to it, which gave it a, a pleasing red color. Well, it's certainly a passable product. I wouldn't say I'd go out of my way for it, but uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's certainly edible. And it used all the parts of the animal, so that's what we were after doing. Well, for now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat, eat what you hunt, even bear paws. <laughs> be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, and see you next time. I talk about cooking in all of my books like Backyard Deer Hunting, Extreme Muzzle Loading, Practical Bow Fishing, and Crossbow Hunting. Now you can find these on my website, www.hoviesmith.com. I also have a radio show, Hovey's Outdoor Adventures. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors.